Oh. Good morning, Axial Scale Builders. It's your boy Josh, aka Coleman, and you are now watching Scale Wars, Axial's official Battle of the Builders. good everybody I hope you're off to a good start this morning as usual I am exhausted it is uh, early in the morning and I am like I'm a little bit of a zombie right now but I got my coffee and we are about to wake up by diving into some scale trucks I mean what better way to start a Saturday morning than checking out scale trucks so that being said if you want to join in on this please get in the comments throughout the entire video we are always looking for interaction we want feedback we want you know, just it, whatever it, commentary. I mean, it basically it's not just me judging these trucks. It's you, the audience, judging these trucks as well. A lot of these folks that enter these trucks, submit these trucks, they're not just looking for my feedback. They're looking for your feedback as well. So, as usual, jump in the comments, leave that feedback, let them know what you like, what you don't like, and you know, make sure to do it respectfully. If you can't be respectful, don't say nothing at all. I don't want to have to, you know, ban nobody or anything. Mm, ban hammer. That being said. Let's get this started, man. Let's head on over to the uh, battleground. Yeah. All right, scale builders, welcome back to the battleground. Where it's about to go down. We have three contestants as usual, about to go head to head here. First up, let me zoom in on this actually a little bit for you. That's a pretty small picture. Uh, first up, we have a gentleman named Andrew, AKA AJ. Stanger, Stanger or Stanger, Stanger. Oh man, I don't know. You know me, I can never pronounce name. But uh, Andrew or AJ, as he goes by, is from uh, West Coast here, Spokane, Washington, right here in the United States. He is uh, 22 years of age and it looks like he's been subscribed to ESP since last Christmas of uh, so Christmas of 2016. And then he said. Um, Oh, he started building RCs in 2016 as well, so he's fairly new to the scene here, and um, this project we're looking at, uh, this is, he calls it Res Runner, so uh, kind of like R-E-Z Runner, and he says it's an Axial SCX-10 Trail Honcho. So, uh, detailed parts and paint list is a little something like this. Uh, well, I'll just read what he says. He says, well, I'll list everything I know. It's caught on fire in my living room once before, so the stock motor is replaced with a 35-turn motor that came with it as backup. i tell you what is, what it is, but I honestly don't know. Axial metal links, new aluminum shock towers, G-Made Zero 95mm shock, stock tranny, upgraded gears. I know they're, I know they're not stock, he says. Again, sorry, I can't tell you specific details, still a noob. Uh, some super, uh, super swampers, I think is what we meant to say there. Uh, super swampers for tires. And uh, let's see, what's he say? Axial bead locks with hubs. Homemade snorkel. Um, the light kit for Axial. He said, buddy had the deadbolt and took the lights off his and I traded for him. Um, front tires are weighted. Custom gift card toolbox. Got the dinky bedsides, cut and shave front fenders, so no rubbing. Uh, made some inside tubs for the front. He said to keep the rocks and dirt, uh, mud, etc., from inside uh, by the goodies. <laughs> and he says the paint, uh, all done by me, it was just stock body. Then I got it plain silver. I couldn't be like everyone else who keeps it silver, so I painted it to try to make it look like my 1 1 Toyota Tacoma few random stickers like on my real truck plan on doing so much more just super limited with money making do with what I have and uh, the build classification obviously a trail truck and then 
Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, he rates it a 6. And then, as far as who he would like to give a shout-out to, he says, um, I'd, I want to give a shout-out to my girlfriend, my mother, for getting me my truck for Christmas. Love the hobby. Uh, he says, I planned on being at Axial Fest this year, but couldn't make it. But it's in my top 10 goals to make it next year. And uh, that's it. That's all he's got written here. So, um, all right. So, that being said, we learned a few things here. A, he's a uh, self-proclaimed noob. And, uh, in other words, he's new to the hobby and is still learning as he goes. Doesn't have a whole lot of uh, finances available to just go buy in a ton of parts and slap on this thing. He's just working with his, what he's got, you know, available. And, uh, yeah, doing a little trading here and there. So, all right, understandable. And he said, you know, he doesn't know all the parts. He, he's still trying to figure all that out. So, understandable. Absolutely understandable. And it kind of sounds like maybe he got it used. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but maybe he got it used. Uh, that's kind of the gist I got. So, um, that being said, let's go easy on the guy. But at the same time, we need to be honest so that we can really help him uh, navigate his way through this hobby, you know, without hitting too many hiccups, you know, I, I mean, we could, it just helps to have people give you some good pointers, so, um, first thing I'm gonna say is, welcome to the hobby, man, and, you know, welcome to the family, I should say, and, uh, not a bad looking truck, and I'm gonna beat you up a little bit, just because that's what I do, but, honestly, it's all for the good, and it's not bad, um, Trail Honcho is, Definitely an awesome truck. That's where my yellow Jeep started was a trail honcho. It's still to this day one of my favorite rigs um, Here's where I'm gonna get you and I'm gonna go ahead and change the picture because I know what you're wanting to see here is gonna be Ooh, Not that Let's back this out And there that's the picture he's probably wanting us to show off here so <coughs> Excuse me Here's his uh, full size, or his 1 to 1, and here's his 1 to 10. Now, um, this is where the scale stuff comes in. This is where I'm going to get you. As you can see, obviously, there's some similarities here. Green Toyota Tacoma, green Toyota Tacoma. Uh, he's got the roll bar in the back, got the roll bar in the back. Um, you know, just the little things. He, he, he's uh, kind of got some stickers on the windows, got some stickers on the windows, you know, it's just the little things, but now let's let's say you know we are talking scale here. This is extreme scale performance. I have got to give you some advice on how to go full scale here. So um, you're limited on what you can work with, right? I get that. So say you're stuck with this body, all right? You got this body. This is what you can work with. This is what you got. No going hard body. No hand build. Nothing. You just you're gonna have to work with this. Okay. So that being said, here's what I would do. First thing I would do is I would cut out those windows and I would try to form some type of an interior because uh, I went through the pictures already and I realized you don't have an interior so um, that's gonna cost you a lot on the point so the first thing I would do would be to cut out the windows and to come up with some form of a interior and you can hand build some interior out of five bucks worth of plastic ten bucks worth of plastic so um, then next thing I would do would be at, and this is where a lot of people get flustered with me but um i would go to a smaller wheel and tire combination uh, i would drop it down to oh excuse me R -A -I. Oh. i would drop it down to uh just a smaller outside diameter a lot of people like to say 155s um but i mean in reality 155 19 it doesn't really matter it's the outside diameter that matters not the rim diameter so much so and uh it looks like you have fairly decent sized wheels on your Tacoma as is so um, if you were to get some you know tread that matched your real one something that's you know like all terrain as opposed to some gnarly swampers that would help out on some uh, wheels that look similar that would be awesome uh, there are a few places out there you can get some affordable wheels now and then uh, the other thing that gets me a little bit is the mismatched green and I'm not sure if anybody else is seeing that too but the the two different tones of green is kind of clashing and I mean being the mama's boy I am you know my mom always raised me up not to clash colors and I can totally they're, they're clashing so um, maybe if you blacked out the green that is on like the roll bars and stuff like that that would look a little bit better or even if you chromed it out to match 
the uh, you know chromed out the roll bar and then uh, blacked out the wheel you know the wheel rings and things like that the rock sliders um, but that being said uh, those you know I, I'm just trying to give you tips I'm not trying to really you know rip your rig apart here um, just little things like that make a big difference uh, another thing that could really help would be some inner uh, oh you know he has inner fender wells so that's good and um, lights lights more lights would definitely help uh, you can never have enough lights um, obviously you know I'm gonna mention the body clips it's a great way to uh, just make it look that much more realistic is to move the body clips in this case you've already got your uh, uh, high lift jack up there on the hood you could actually use that to hide the body clips if you still want to use them um, or you could just get rid of the body clips altogether come up with a different body mounting setup um, another thing you could add would be an antenna would be a really cool little addition to this but uh, that being said I, I don't want to spend too much time on it it definitely you're off to a great start I love that you've got the hubs on there I love that you're doing what you can with what you've got um, I like the bed addition. I like how you got the cage work in there. Uh, it's just, it's a cool rig, man. It's not bad at all. This is a great first rig. And for somebody that's only a year into this, you're killing it, man. You're killing it. So let's uh, let's keep going through these pictures here. Oh, uh, here we go. Here's with the body off. Oh, your whole chassis is painted and everything. I see what you did here. Um, it's not bad, I, but I'm going to have to say I'm not a huge fan of painting the chassis and everything like that. But that's just my preference. Uh, in real life, there are a lot of show trucks that have the chassis painted. So, um, yeah, it's, it's a preference thing. Well, you know, I can't really hate too much on that. Looks good. The wiring's not too bad. It's nice and clean. Fairly stock looking layout, you know. I know it's not stock parts, but definitely stock looking layout. There it is doing a little flexing. I like the angry eye look you got going on. That's pretty cool. Definitely, make, you know, that uh, changes up the look of this truck for sure. There it is, throwing a little bit of mud. Uh, not the best picture, but you guys get the idea there. It's definitely a driver. Um, another one with the body off. Now, you put these in because there's no uh, interior, so I think this is his interior shots so to speak um not too bad man i mean it's you know it's very basic i will say that it is very basic um you know i think that as you build you'll you'll evolve a lot um and i see that you have a ton of potential in this because you just it looks like you have an eye for the little things already i mean the sticker placement um the little scale details yeah i mean just how you tie things down you just got an eye for it, and I think that you're probably going to kill it here. Now, keep in mind, I, all the stuff I said was basically to make this look more like your real one. Um, if you wanted it to just be a Toyota trail rig, it actually looks pretty dang good, man. You just need an interior in there, and that's really it. Um, I mean, the bumper is probably not that front bumper I saw in there. Probably wouldn't be my first choice for a bumper. Um but it's not horrible. I mean, it's just you got a lot of stuff hanging down low and a lot of stuff going on here. Um, I would probably get something else. So you get those lights up high, uh, get a little bit better clearance there, and not have to worry about that. And then it's just mean. This is definitely mean, dude. That thing looks you know, it looks aggressive. I like it. Oh, that's a nice shot. Can't tell if that's snow or what. I think that's snow. Yeah, that's a nice shot. Accessories look good on there. It looked like you added some yellow things here. I'm not so sure about that, but yeah, it's not too bad, man. It's a good looking rig. Not too bad. So, anyways, you guys, this is uh, Andrew's Toyota Tacoma here. Go ahead, give him some feedback in the comments. Let him know what you think he should do. He's still new to this. And uh, me personally, and you may not want to hear this, but I say scrap that body altogether and go to a hard body Toyota. Um, if you're a Toyota guy, they've got a few Toyota options out there. And, you know, these days you can even have some stuff 3D printed. It's pretty crazy. So, um I say scrap it, go to a hard body, go to a little bit smaller wheel and tire, and truly try to replicate your uh, 
Toyota Tacoma. I mean, I think that would be amazing. But that's just me personally. Um, if you're going to keep this body, then definitely chop those windows out. Get a clear front windshield in there and uh, get some form of an interior going on. I mean, you can scratch build one if you want to. It wouldn't be too hard. Uh, you know, I know even if you haven't done it before, it's still not that hard. Um, just get some pictures and just start going back and forth between the pictures and what you're cutting out and start making things. Um, but anyways, thank you very much, Andrew, for submitting your build. We're going to go ahead and move on to the next one. You guys, leave, leave some feedback in the comments. And if you want to get involved, you want to submit your build, uh, go on over to the website, www.extremescaleperformance.com. And you can uh, slide on over to the Scale Wars tab. Everything you need to know is right there, all the rules, regulations. Um, the scoreboard and the sign-up sheet, everything is right there. So uh, go ahead, get those builds submitted, axial only. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's a trail truck, a bomber, and uh, it doesn't matter, a Yeti, a uh, uh, Wraith. I mean, it can even be an XO. It doesn't matter. Just uh, even an XR10, if you've done something crazy with an XR10, there's always room for an axial truck on here. So uh Go ahead and get those builds submitted, you guys. That being said, let's head on to our next contestant. All right, you guys, we've got our second contestant here today. And um, this gentleman didn't actually submit his real name. He instead left, his name is uh, BBG Inc. So, uh, not really sure what to call him. I guess just we'll call him, we'll call him B for now. So, uh... B, <laughs> I don't think that his name has anything to do with B, is judging by his email, but um, BBG Inc. here is, uh, he's from Palmdale, California, uh, right here in the United States. He's 35 years of age, and uh, looks like he's been subscribed to ESP for two weeks, so he's fresh around here. Shout out to you, BBG Inc., thank you for subscribing, I always do appreciate that, man. Um, now, Looks like he started building RCs back in 2006, so he's no noob. He's been doing it for a little bit now. Um, this project we're looking at, he calls it Project Brutus Axial JK Brute Utility Recovery Vehicle. Um, so he calls it Project Brutus Axial JK Brute Utility Recovery Vehicle is what it is, clearly. Um, now the detail part and paint list goes something like this. Axial Rubicon body, axial hard top, axial chassis, axial stock shocks, axial stock trans, axial servo horn, 24 tooth, axial aluminum links, axial AE2 ESC, RC4 wheel drive, D44 axles, RC4 wheel drive front bumper, RC4 wheel drive universal bumper mount, MIP front drive shaft, uh, GDS racing gear drive shaft, or rear drive shaft, my apologies, uh, Holmes Hobby 16 tooth crawler, Crawler Master Motor, uh, Night Customs Battery Relocation Mount, Vanquish Poison Spider Brawler Rockers, Vanquish KMC Machete Wheels, MST CFX 1.9 Tires, Proline Utility Bed, and Spectrum Radio and Receiver. So, woo, man. <clears throat> that is quite the, uh, quite the list there. So, obviously, classified as a trail truck, and already changed pictures, didn't mean to do that. Um, <clears throat> then let's see here, uh, on a scale of one to 10, he rates this one an eight. Ooh, that's up there. That's up there. Um, we're going to, all right, we'll see. We'll see if it's an eight. We'll look into this now. Uh, as far as who he'd like to give a shout out to, he says he'd like to give a shout out to KMC wills, Sally Peterson, who is his sponsor and vanquish products. So yeah. All right. Shout out to all them folks. Um, so now that being said, let's go ahead and dive into this. Now I'm keeping in mind that brother, you, you said you were rating this an eight out of 10. Now that's pretty high. That leaves only two points left for improvement. Ah, uh, now we got to think about that. So first thing I'm noticing here, I'm going to go ahead and try to zoom in. Whoop, there we go. Uh, is it's a beautiful looking truck. I love the concept of it. Actually. I like the quad cab. I like the, uh, Utility bed, very, very sick. I like that a lot. Love the long wheelbase. Wheel and tire combination is looking on point. Um, these tires remind me of like Toyos or something. And then it's looking good. Now, paint color scheme. I like the paint color scheme. is also looking good. Now, things that I'm noticing, all right, that are going to take you down a little bit here is obviously a right up front. 
Hood pins. Hood pins are gonna get you every time, man. They're uh, they're points killers. And then, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I notice you don't have a winch up here. Uh, it is a winch bumper, so you can mount one there. But I notice there isn't one there yet. I'd like to see a winch up there. Um, but the main thing I'm noticing is I don't think you have an interior. Now, I mean, you got dark windows I can't see through. A little concerned that you may not have um, any interior in there. Love the Poison Spider goodies, though, by the way. Those look awesome. All right, so let's uh, go to the next picture. I also like the hubs on the wheels. The wheel and tire combination with the hubs, just on point. Woo, SSD, uh, what are those, D44s and for axles, right? Those are awesome housings. I love those. Um, super shiny paint job. Looking all shiny. Uh, looks good, man. I'd like to see some disc brakes back there, of course. Typical stuff. Uh, not a lot of scale accessories either, huh? Um, I'm noticing more body pins back here and no scale accessories, but that paint job is just beautiful. Love the color choice. Look at that. Yeah, see, this thing just looks awesome. Now, imagine if all this was like actually real though you could open up some hatches and stuff on the back that would be insane this thing is just it, the whole concept of this jeep i really like i think it's just a great idea looks good looks pretty good man now i'm not getting any interior shots though here so i'm gonna have to assume there's no interior because i cannot see anything and oh let's see so it looks like there's an interior but it's all blacked out it looks like it's got the uh, regular what is that like the jk interior hmm it looks good underneath too man that's really nice all the links look on point these uh vanquish poison spider rock sliders or whatever just look awesome MIPs now these are the this is the GDS racing drag shaft which I have not seen before but looks like it works out good I'm kind of mixed with the hybrid axial parts and stuff in there um looks good man looks pretty good not a lot of wiring mess I do see some wiring going on over here it looks like you got some open plugs maybe to plug some things in or maybe this was taken before everything was wired up all the way um, but you know it's not not too bad looking I uh, yeah not too bad mm, I'd like to see a little more detail in the front here maybe if you painted these all black in the center uh, or even cut them out and blacked it out behind there that would look good um, also curious what's going on right here with this around this light it's a little messed up is that a paint blemish or what exactly is that I'm not 100% sure um, front axles look awesome <clears throat> front axle looks awesome <laughs> uh, like they use the green axial spacers in there just a great looking rig honestly overall I mean my first impression is just like dang it's just the little things you know the body pins stuff like that um, there's another shot of it when it's under construction now there's my man right there this is a uh, BBG Inc. I wish I knew your name, brother. Uh, it's um, I shot you out on here. So uh, I mean, honestly, I think you did a good job. I think that the the truck overall looks great. However, given the body pins, um, not being able to see any of the interior, no accessories at all, no winch. Uh, you know, there's a handful of things you could still do. Brake disc. Um, you know, there's no windshield wipers. Uh, there's just a there's just a lot that you could still do I'm not quite sure I give it an 8 out of 10 just yet and um, not to mention that what is there is Lexan based not that I'm against Lexan but you got to go a little bit above and beyond to make Lexan um, that much more realistic so uh, having the two-dimensional interior is gonna cost you a little bit uh, I can see actually in this picture I can see whoop, the interior you can see the dash and the steering wheel a little bit so I mean it is in there um, so I'm not gonna knock you for not having one you're definitely gonna get points for one but I can't really judge it I mean I can't tell if it's even painted or what so 
Hmm. It, it will cost you a little bit. I have a feeling. Uh, we'll see what I do the score. Um, but that being said, uh, overall, it is a pretty nice rig, and I think that you're on to a great, great start. Um, I think that if you converted this, same thing I told Alaska, I think if you were to convert this to a hard body, oh, Lord, this thing would be just amazing. Um, the, I've seen a couple of crazy JK hard body builds lately, and this concept for a JK hard body would be awesome. So just a little food for thought there um other than that man it's awesome you're you're off to a great start for sure with this thing colors just the whole color scheme is on point the uh wheel tire combination the just the body I, I just everything i like the whole idea of it it's like a awesome jeep speed chase truck or something so anyways all right that being said you guys we're gonna go on to the next Entry, be sure to leave BBG Inc. some feedback in the comments down below. Let him know what you think. Should he keep this body, keep pushing it forward? Um, if he does, what should he do? And if he uh, was going to go hard body, what do you think he should do for a hard body? I mean, I think this is a great truck. I'd just like to see it reproduced in a hard body form. would be amazing. So, um, anyways... Looking forward to reading the feedback on this one. Uh, thank you very much, BBG Inc. I do appreciate it. Let's move on to our next entry. All right, you guys, we've got our third and final contestant today. And uh, this entry is looking amazing already. And I'm just going to go ahead and spoil the beans. I have seen this one in person. Um, you will also be seeing this one on the Axial Fest 2017 movie, which, yes, it is still happening. It is still coming out. So that being said... Um, let's go ahead and dive into this one a little bit. Uh, this contraption of a vehicle here is submitted to us by a gentleman named Todd Pearson. Pearson. I almost said Peterson. Todd Pearson. Um, and he is from Chico, California. Shout out Chico. All right, man. That's, so Chico's like, you know, it's like another town that I spend a lot of time in. Um, my sister-in-law and brother-in-law live down in Chico. Um, so my sister-in-law and her husband and, uh, their two kids, my nephew and niece all live in Chico. So I spend a little bit of time in Chico every now and again, beautiful little town, cool little college community. Um, definitely a little wild sometimes, <laughs> but, uh, all right. So shout out to Chico. Um, now Todd is 47 years of age. Um, looks like he subscribed to ESP about four months ago and, um, he started building RCs back in 1984 with a Tamiya Fast Attack. Uh, just to put that in perspective, that is the year I was born. So Todd is no amateur. He has been doing this for quite some time now. Um, project name, this one he calls it Doxy. It's an SCX-10 and it is mostly scratch built, he says. Now the detailed part and paint list goes a little something like this. SCX-10 frame rails, SCX-10-2 transmission, eBay transfer case, SSD drive lines, SSD D60 axles with axial internals, Protec RC100 tooth servo, uh, two speed controllers, uh, one for driving and one for the smoke system, um, metal stamped beadlock wheels, RC4 wheel drive mud plugger tires, full size spare tire, uh, custom handmade winch, chain driven he says interesting um custom wood bed custom metal crane cage with extendable boom uh what do you got here custom wood tow log which i was wondering what that is um custom metal bumpers front and rear custom smoke system in the gas tank custom light uh lighting tamia wrangler cab cut down six inches and custom interior and then scale by Chris accessories. So not too bad. And then he says, P.S. I have been playing with crawlers for about five years now. And this is my first attempt at scale building. I was not sure if I could do it or not. So if you're on the fence, just do it. It will be fun. Ah, well, that's some good feedback right there. So you guys hear that? This is his first time uh, doing this build. And if you well, you'll see when you watch Axial Fest movie. Um, he doesn't do too shabby at the uh, Axial Fest concourse either. So um, now this build classification is basically it's a trail truck. 
um, or a toe pig, I guess you could say in a sense. Uh, yeah, it is. It's 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 essentially toe pig, and he has toe pig marked here. So, um, now rating his own build on a scale of one to ten, he rates this one a nine. So he is definitely proud of it, uh, for good reason. And as far as who we'd like to give a shout out to, uh, he says huge thanks to my family for supporting me on this project and everyone that was a part of the build. Amainhobbies.com, uh, Protech RC, Eco Power, Corey. Uh, Corey Kohler, or Co uh, Kohler, um, Brad, J oh man, Juan Arena, Juan Arena, Juan Arena, oh man, Sean Klobos, and Skull by Chris, I am butchering people's names, I'm sorry guys, um, also would like to thank you Josh for all the hard work you do in promoting the hobby you love, thanks Todd, alright Todd, well you are welcome man, and thank you very much for the shout out. Um, now you guys that being said let's go ahead and dive into this like we do on everybody else's first thing I'm gonna say is look at those wheels I don't know if you guys are noticing this but look at the wheels super super scale super realistic I don't think it's gonna get much better than that that is amazing um, yeah dude this is looking good it's just got so much detail, all the little things. I like the weathering. Um, everything just looks good. I like how, I mean, look how you did on the stars here. You just put a little bit on these two tips down here, but the rest is clear. Did a little bit up around this tip, but nothing on there. I mean, just an awesome job. So, mm, what else here? I like the, uh, I like that he did the uh, US 2017 axial stuff on there, make it look military. Um, I definitely, I'm liking how he chopped up, I don't know if you guys are noticing this or not, but he actually chopped up a Tamiya Jeep Wrangler body, so this is pretty cool, man. Uh, I believe that's a YJ body chopped up and turned into almost a cab over sort of scenario. Definitely crazy looking, man, and very unique, extremely unique, actually. Um, matching spares are looking good, all the correct hardware. And then, uh, you know, the boom, everything, it's just phenomenal. Even got the gold there, go with the theme. Axial Fest theme this year was Prospector Fever. Um, got the bucket, everything. It's just, this thing is so on point, it's phenomenal. Uh, let's keep it going here through these pictures. Here's some interior shots. Uh, you can tell this is handmade interior as well. Nothing too dramatic. Um, looks like it's just the basic stuff there. Controls right by where he needs them. Uh, they used a sticker though to replicate the side controls. Would have liked to see something a little bit more than that, but that's all right. Um, what else? I think this is out of the Wraith, the shifter system out of the Wraith. And then, yeah, it just looks good, man. It looks proper. The seat looks good. Um, yeah. Not a lot to the interior. Underneath is looking nice. It looks like a cantilever system there. Is that what I'm seeing? Yeah, cantilever system for the rear. Um, I'm not a huge fan of cantilever stuff, but it does work properly, so I can't hate on it at all. Uh, underneath looks good. You can see all the wiring looks good here. Yeah, man, my hat's off to you. You did a really good job here. This is really nice. And... Yeah, definitely looks good. Definitely looks good. Just sitting here trying to admire a little bit. Um, look for the details. It's like a switch right here. I'm curious what that's for. Uh, maybe smoke or something. Um, the smoke unit is inside of this, I believe. Just cool, man. All together, just an awesome rig. Another interior shot there can't see a whole lot on that interior though uh, I'd like to see some more stuff laid out on this interior and out on this dash right here you got all that room you could do some serious gauge work clusters something um, and three-dimensional would be great there's another profile shot beautiful you can see all the gas cans ready to rumble I mean this thing is just built yeah, if this was real life, it'd be an awesome, awesome truck. 
Yeah, I like it, man. There's really nothing I don't like about this. I'm trying to think what wouldn't I like. There's I I don't know. Maybe if you could get like a fan behind the grill, that would be pretty cool. So that when you turn it on, you see the fan spinning behind the grill. That would be awesome. Um, I mean, I, there's nothing. I, I don't think there's anything I'd change. I think that you built an amazing rig. I I'm not going to lie. This thing is super inspiring. Love all the dirt on it. I also saw him driving it quite a bit at Axio Fest, which was really cool. Here's the back setup. You can see how this works. Pretty cool. Yeah, definitely cool. I like it all, man. There's nothing I don't like, I don't think, about this. There we go. That looks awesome. Another great shot of the rear there. That SSD axle. Boom. Oh, I can't zoom in on this one. That's weird. Won't let me. Anyways, uh, that's it right there. Driving, cruising. The thing is awesome. It does function. He does rip it around. There he is. So this is Todd Pearson, you guys. Todd is, uh, you can see right here, rocking the Scale Builders Guild trophy. Um, I have this exact same one. This is because he basically, he won best of show, if I remember right, with this thing. So uh, shout out to you, Todd, man. You're just killing it for being you know new to the Scale Building scene. Um, you dove right in feet first and just killed it, man. Uh, that is an amazing first build. So, um, you guys give him some feedback. Me personally, I don't even know what I'd tell him to do on this. Uh, more lights. You can never go wrong with more lights. But, I mean, this thing is amazing. What else is there? I, I mean, I don't know how I could give much input on this one. It's just, it's a phenomenal rig. It's completely unique. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's almost stumps me how cool this thing is, man. I just, I, this is one of those few rigs that I would like to own myself, even though I didn't build it. So, props to you, Todd. Uh, very, very impressed with this, man. And I hope to see it again at Axial Fest next year. Um, that being said, you guys, get in the comments. Give him some feedback. Let him know what you think of this thing. And uh, do it for everybody. Jump in the comments. Just give everybody some feedback. Let them know what you think of their builds, what they could improve, uh, how you would go about improving it, and uh, what you really like. You know, definitely be sure to let them know what you like. These guys deserve that credit. They're definitely willing to put their their builds out here on the line to get judged. And I've got nothing but respect to them for that. So um, definitely appreciate all three of you entering today. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed your Saturday morning hanging out with me on Scale Wars here. And that being said, I'm going to get up off here. Just remember, every Saturday morning, we've got a all-new episode of Scale Wars coming out, usually around 5 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I think that's like Pacific time. It just depends, sometimes a little later. And uh, yeah, so definitely be sure to subscribe. And that's it. I'm out of here. Peace, chick, grease fam. Yeah, yeah.